Lady Louise Windsor could potentially work for the royal family in the future to help address the current challenges of a slimmed-down monarchy, according to a royal expert. The eldest child of the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, Lady Louise, delighted royal fans with a surprise appearance at Trooping the Colour Ceremony in London. Braving the rain with a smile during King Charles's birthday parade, she garnered significant attention and praise from the public. Her appearance has sparked speculation about her future involvement with the royals, should she choose that path. Currently studying at St Andrews University in Scotland, Louise doesn't hold a royal title as her parents decided to let their children choose whether to use their HRH titles after turning 18. Despite this, recent health challenges within the royal family have left a significant gap in the number of working royals, prompting discussions about the potential for non-working royals like Louise to step up and assist. Veteran royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams weighed in on the topic, noting the limitations of the slimmed-down monarchy concept, especially in light of the health issues faced by senior royals. Both King Charles and the Princess of Wales have been diagnosed with cancer, significantly reducing the number of active working royals available to manage royal engagements. Fitzwilliams elaborated, the myth of a slimmed-down monarchy being desirable has been exposed, especially in circumstances which have seen two senior royals, the King and the Princess of Wales, battling cancer. He emphasised the increased need for additional support within the firm, suggesting that Lady Louise could play a crucial role in filling this gap. Lady Louise, daughter of the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, both hard-working senior royals, wasn't originally intended to do royal duties, Fitzwilliams explained. She's currently in her second year at St Andrews. We also know that she's taken up a grandfather Prince Philip's interest in carriage driving. Despite her initial lack of intention to perform royal duties, Fitzwilliams pointed out that Lady Louise's recent public appearance raises the possibility of a future involvement. Her appearance at the Troop in the Colour Ceremony clearly raises the possibility that, should she wish so, she might one day play a part in royal life and carry out some royal engagements. She looked gorgeous, and she has admirers, he remarked. The expert also highlighted the age factor among working royals, noting that only four working royals are under 70. And if she was keen, her participation, probably part-time, would help fill a gap which would be very beneficial to the monarchy. The potential for Lady Louise to take on royal duties aligns with a broader trend of increased visibility and engagement from younger royals. As the royal family navigates through its current challenges, the involvement of younger members could provide much needed support and continuity. Fitzwilliam's insights underscores the delicate balance the monarchy must maintain between tradition and adaptation in response to changing circumstances. Lady Louise's academic pursuits and personal interests, such as carriage driving, reflect a multifaceted personality and potential to contribute uniquely to the royal family. Her future decisions regarding royal duties will undoubtedly be influenced by her own aspirations and the evolving needs of the monarchy. In conclusion, while Lady Louise Windsor's future role within the royal family remains uncertain, her recent public engagements and the current challenges faced by senior royals have sparked significant speculation. Should she choose to step into a more active role, her involvement could provide valuable support to the monarchy during a period of transition and adaptation.